Well, good morning everyone and welcome to the plot tour at the end of June. And as usual, we start with the rhubarb bed and the rhubarb that was collapsing has sprung back up again. So it's always good to see. We've uh, got some signs of the magnolias doing their thing, somewhat smaller than the little picket fence, so it's difficult to see them at the moment. Tabery, we've been getting some fruit from it and you can see some of that new growth for next year coming up the middle that's going to have to be tamed at some point and the nautia it's putting on a bit of a display so we've uncovered the strawberries we've uh, had our fill of them they've uh, done reasonably well this year but we are looking to get some new ones and we're still to put uh, some leeks down the middle there if we have enough uh, leeks to actually use so the uh, bean wigwams they're uh, in uh, full stride at the moment we've sort of staggered the sewing so one wigwam just a bit below the other in terms of height and the berry bushes, right, we've taken 10 pounds off of the two black currants and there is plenty more still to come. Gooseberries aren't quite ready yet, they always, they always seem to be about a couple of weeks behind the black currants. Quite a lot of fruit on there too. Carrot bath. I think it was Charles Dowding that was saying you could start to uncover them now. Uh, the carrot uh, root fly has uh, stopped for the for the moment anyway but uh, I'm not sure we'll risk it what we'll actually have to get covered up soon is the uh, blueberries got quite a lot of fruit on those uh, brand new plants the blueberry that was in the pot here I've taken it out and popped in a yellow rose unfortunately it was a very bad time of the year to do that because it was just before we had 31 degrees centigrade of uh, heat so it didn't like me for that so the jazzy um, we have harvested one pot we haven't weighed it yet really pathetic um, but the seed potatoes were pathetic um, uh, so I suppose as uh, so a like produces like so uh, that was unfortunate the uh, sarpomeras they're doing okay they don't seem to have died off quite yet so we're waiting for those so we've got a little dahlia over there doing quite well courgettes are also doing quite well there's a bit of interplanting as we swap the courgettes and the bean wigwam bed beds around each year and uh, any beans that uh, survive like that one there from the previous year we just let do its thing it just sits there fixing some nitrogen and beans um, well <laughs> this is the French beans and they have uh, struggled a little bit with the interplanting that we put in with uh, beetroot and so they were winning initially um, and then the beetroot started to uh, come on strong and yes uh, we're gonna have to have a little bit less French beans this year but that's not a problem and the onions and uh, shallots they, we had a rather bad spell of weather and that brought on some powdery mildew and um, well <laughs> they've never really recovered from that so this is the fallow bed they've got some flowering carrots in there some phacelia sort of buckwheat and other things so, so it's early in the morning so we're down into the shade over here peppers they've been a little bit disappointing um, they weren't actually that good um, when they were in the pots just before coming out so it's not so much transplant shock as uh, how they were beforehand but uh, tomatoes have done well and cabbages coming on as is uh, peregrine the peach i'm going to have to do a bit of a chop on that one otherwise the summer storms will probably blow the top off of it 
So we had the single cherry and it was very nice. We discovered that this is actually a sweet cherry, so uh, um, that'll be good for eating in future years. First signs of the lilies now, they're coming out. And the tomatoes here. They do rather like it in front of the shed. Got some beans and various things at the front there, but the foxes have had a go at those already. Penn stems have been putting on quite a nice display. Uh, sunflower is uh, starting to find its stride. So we've got Waldo in the back here. You can see all this new growth for next year coming out. Plenty of fruit to be had later. I'm keeping a, an eye on its watering because of it being in quite a dry spot there. So the peppers that are now in the quad grow, they're looking a lot better than the ones in the ground. Unfortunately, the foxes had a little merry dance around the bank uh, area here, squashed that uh, lavender there, um, squashed the centre of the hosta, which is rather unfortunate. That uh, lavender there copped it as well, as did a couple of the dahlias. A bit of new planting gone along here with uh, pinks and heucheras. I haven't done the deadheading on the daylily today, or any deadheading, I've just uh, turned up to do the video. So the, hopefully these lilies will be in flower at the end of, the, of July for that tour, but uh, knowing them they'll have uh, come and gone by then. And we've got the clematis looking nice. A little bit of dead stuff at the top, unfortunately, um, once it got up into the more exposed areas off the trellis part. The um, summer winds that we're having these days, I think it just burnt it basically, it just blew it to bits. So we're all planted up with the pots on either side of the rose arch. And we still have, if I can find it, yes, well, it's, it's fairly obvious. We have four fruit on the Pluot this year. Last year it was the two ot, and uh, hopefully this year it won't be <laughs> as little as two. We'll get four, maybe. So raspberries are doing quite well, and we've under uncovered the strawberries down here as well. We're going to remove these strawberries. They've uh, basically come to the end of their best production, and we're just going to let the raspberries take over. That's the plan for now, anyway. So the plums are doing reasonably well. There's one in there that um, this poor little fellow here, um, he's only little. That might be the one that uh, cops it next. Sweet corn, it's doing okay. We've had a little bit of um, what's known as zippering um, along the edge, which suggests we've got a deficiency of boron. So we've got some trace minerals to take care of that. Parsnips looking well. They're interplanted with uh, some radish. Got the space there that's waiting for leeks. And here's the tomatoes. Need to tie that one in there. It's going a little bit rogue. We've got our lettuce at the back. And we've got peas down the middle with the beetroot on either side and various other things, turnips. And we've got some spring onions there. Which have done not bad for us because we, we really struggle with spring onions. Garlic. Hmm, yes, it's uh, still been getting white rot. The idea of just skipping the first autumn white rot season and just having the spring one to contend with. It's got a little bit of rust on there as well. So we don't know. We, we found that the 
garlic we just uh, cloves that were dotted around the site have actually done a lot better at avoiding the white rot than having them in a block like that. So we may start just planting them up randomly. Now we've got to talking about randomly. Just a spare courgette just gone in there. Dahlias are looking good. Got quite a lot of fruit on these uh, spalier apple trees this year. Some getting to a quite reasonable size. We haven't given this sort of June drop a, a hand yet. You can just have a look at something like that. This tiny little one there beside that big one. That could go. There's a couple there could just uh, be taken off. Now we've got a hunter butternut squash there. We've got one on either side. See if they can actually grow up the posts this year. Now the pinks are looking rather nice. And sweet peas doing okay with the, the sicken waldo. Have fighting a good fight there with it. And speaking of sweet peas, doing well here. As is the borage over here. This is uh, this is loving it. We had borage on the bank when we took the site on, and uh, when I had redesigned the bank. Unfortunately, we lost the borage, but uh, the bees love it so much, we had to put some back. So we have a crown prince, happily settled in there. Astromerias are doing okay in their little planters. Now spare sarpomerias, they have taken quite well on here. I did actually lose one, I'm sure I had three, down to two plants at the moment. Oh, rain gauge has got something in it. We were really quite dry up until a couple of days ago and then all of a sudden we've had a decent uh, downpour, which we were desperately needing. So there we are, that is the tour. I hope everybody's keeping well and I will catch you in the next month. Bye for now.